Hello everyone. I'm very sorry I haven't been uploading for the past five months. I've just been really busy with like other stuff. Um, I really wish I had been uploading more, but this this video, I will be doing a solo tutorial on Golden Trophy. But first, I haven't gotten that weekly yet, so we're going to start off by getting that. Um, so it's going to be a quick thing through disc golf. Do that and maybe do a little bit of paintball. But this is mainly the tutorial for Solo and Golden Trophy. I know I said I'd do that on 100 subscribers. We are almost on 1,000 subscribers. That is crazy. I did not expect to get this big in Rec Room. Uh, I just want to thank you guys so much for that. And without further ado, let's start off with Disc Golf and get that challenge done for the weekly. There we go, you got win. the challenge done. Using the cart, obviously, because I stink at disc golf. And, and without further ado, let's get right over to Golden Trophy. Hello, okay, we are in Golden Trophy now, and we are going to start the solo tutorial. Um, yeah, we just finished up in disc golf, and yeah, I guess we're going to get to soloing this. Um... I'm also going to be trying to do the bow glitch, show some of you how to glitch in the bow. You might already know, but for those who don't, right before Coach says game on, you're just going to want to put it on your back. Um, you're not going to need it if you're soloing, but if maybe if you're playing with a few friends, you're going to want an extra bow. Um, but yeah, let's start the tutorial. Oh, I've missed it. I'm going to start by grabbing a bow. I didn't know how I unlocked that. I didn't even step on it. Um, yeah, grab your bow. Maybe shoot the pots if you want to. Start it off. Um, you can sit. <laughs> Um, yeah, also, I will be double-shotting in this, so if you don't know how to double-shot, it is fine. You can probably still do it with a single shot. I will be releasing a double-shoot tutorial later on in the future. Um, and, yeah, I really don't know what else to say, other than, um, thanks to Bothaya. Again, I said this in my other video. I will link his video on tutorial solo for Golden Trophy down below. Um, so definitely go check him out, subscribe. He's a great YouTuber, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. So, starting it off, once you reach about that curtain right there, you're going to have a goblin right there, and a goblin right there. So, they're easy. Try and take them up before they hit the ground. Act 1's really easy. So once you reach about there-ish, you'll have a go four goblins in here. One right there, over there, and two over there kind of come in, take these guys out, got them, and then once you kill them, we'll have four guys right here. If you ever feel unsafe, just jump up on the crates, can't get you. And then once you come in here, goblin right there, goblin right there, and a goblin over there. So what I like to do, come over here, just try and hit them before they hit the ground, and then kill that guy. And you have two over here, and two over there. And then these are the last two. Take them out. And that's the first level. Okay, so when you come up, once you reach about, I want to say there, you'll have two flyers, one right there, and one right there. So just kind of come up. Okay, yeah, my aim is not the best right now. But, um... Once you come about past that curtain, you're going to have a flyer right here, um, two in little thing over here, and one right in front of you. So what I like to do is come back and shoot the flyer behind me, but if you're feeling too unsafe, just kind of duck down over there. Hide behind the walls, they can't get you. Just kind of shoot them. So let's spawn them in, turn around, take out the guy above guy over here, and then hide behind the curtains. They'll always shoot before they can actually hit you. Easy. 
And then right about there, you have a fly two flyers, one right there and one over there. Take them both out. Now this is the tricky room for level two. A lot of people fail here. When you come in, you'll have two green guys over there, a flyer up here, or up there, and a flyer over there in that corner. And you also have a green guy in that cave. So what you're gonna wanna do, come up here, shoot a green guy. Uh, try and shoot those flyers down if you can't. Then, no biggie, just kinda run back here. Take them out as they come. Shoot them. Then once you take out that wave, you'll have a green guy over here, flyer up there, two green guys in that cove over there, and a flyer. Okay. I cannot hit him. Also, once you take out all but one enemy, you're also going to have two, one, two flyers right about here, so be careful of them. Be careful. Just keep track of how many enemies you've taken out. Take them out. I was gonna have some more green guys and flyers all shooting at ya. Don't get too overwhelmed. Just kinda take them out. Easy. In a moment. Okay, video recording stopped. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Couldn't run for a second. Okay, level three. Pretty easy. Boulder, use it, don't use it, up to you. You can kind of hit him with the boulder if you want to. Makes it easier, but you can also just run in and just shoot them. Um, so once you hit about that ramp there, you'll have, I think it's three goblins and two flyers. Yeah. You can send the barrel down if you want. Get, a, get like a few of them with the barrel. I only got one. But when you're taking them out, don't cross the line right there. Otherwise, you'll have three flyers back there that are going to be behind you and in front of you. And that is not going to be pretty. So what you're going to want to do, cross the line, quickly turn around. And just take all these guys out. They are fairly easy. And that was warming you up for what comes next. Oh, yeah, you don't really have to worry about pots. Um, yeah, you have four flyers right here. Knock them all down. Just kind of take them out. Easy. And then once you cross about that line, you'll have, I think it's six runners down here. That you can just... Kill before they can get to you. Easy. Level 4 is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. Even though for level 4, you're just going to want to kind of stay in the same spot. You're also not really going to need pots for the run. Because when you're soloing, you're pretty much guaranteed S. I think the only quest you're not guaranteed S in when you're soloing is like Jumbotron. Okay, so you're going to want to start off by spawning these guys. Run back here and let them all flow towards you. Kind of kick them into the lava if you can. Leave one guy alive. And after you kill him, you have two in front of you. And two over here. And three over here. And take him out. Another two in front. And also four flyers. And this is where it starts to go. Oh my god, that's scared me. That nearly hit me. <laughs> oh, that was the closest call ever. Okay, yep. It's very nerve-wracking when it comes to these guys. Except you only have to hit them once and they go down. You need, if you need to get a bit closer, it's a little bit of a risk, but you can take it if you want to. Also, if a flyer is dead and their fireball hits you, not going to do any damage. But I wouldn't bet on it because one little spike of lag and you're done for. I cannot hit him, he's hiding behind that box. There we go. Then you're gonna have three flyers over here and a few runners. So you're gonna wanna try and take out these flyers as quick as possible. 
Um, but he is ducking behind, and that's not fun. I'm gonna want to try and leave one of these guys standing. Okay, good. Leave one standing with a dart in him. Back up. Take him out. Whoa, don't do that. You're gonna want to try and take him up before he can hit the ground. Otherwise, just move out of his way. They're gonna have another one coming for you. If you take him up quick enough, you can just kind of hit him from the side as he's coming down the ramp. Let him come after you. Move out the way. Shoot him twice. Hit him again. And usually I can take him out before I can hit the ground. But not that time. I'm trying to get shot by the flyers in the process. Try and take him out. It'll make life a lot easier. Okay, and then it's just one left. Did that hit? Nope. You can get closer for the last guy if you need to. Sometimes what I like to do is come up to him, just kind of biffed a pot on him. That missed. Whoop! Did I get him? No, okay. Well, enough wasting time. Yeah, pot, as I was saying earlier in level 3, pots don't really matter. Guaranteed S. But I like breaking them. It's fun to smash. Give me that. Accuracy 100. Okay, so you're gonna have one of two ways. You can either go this way, it's just a series of runners, or this way, which has runners and flyers. So this way is obviously the more hard one, and that one is the easier one. But I like to start off with the hard. You can too if you want. You can also go the other way. Either way works. But coming up here, let's kind of take out these two. And you're gonna have two flyers over here and once you come in a little bit further you're gonna want to break that pot come up on this box and try to shoot this red guy and then take out the guy in front of your face and now once uh, those two are out of the way try not to get hit by them they are shooting a fan of fireballs uh, you're gonna have three green guys over there if you either go in that cove or over in their area so, I'm gonna spawn them like this. Stay up on your box. Can't get you. Very easy. And now, for the people that took the other way, I will go this way to help you out. So, if you took the other way, what you're gonna wanna start off by doing is just kinda creeping up on them and aggravate them. Take them all out as they flow over to you. And then once you approach the room, you'll have two red guys over here. You can either get up on these boxes or that stage, either one works. I prefer these boxes, because you can hit them a lot easier. Once you take them out, you'll have two more over here. And three green guys over this way. Easy. And this is where Act 5 gets tricky. What you're gonna wanna do is come up here and spawn these guys. Try and shoot them as fast as you can. Get as many hits in as possible. Try and take them out before they get to you. Shoot down the flyers, hide behind this cove if you need to. I recommend backing up when you're doing this because you can have two green guys spawn on top of you and then that gets ugly. Wait for them to come. You see their wings when they come over. Just like that, you can shoot them out. Once you take out two of the three, you'll have the green goblin spawn either here or there. Try not to do what I'm doing and have them go like that. Yeah, I have one over here and one over there. I think I forgot one, didn't I? Okay, no, maybe I didn't. But once you take out both of them, first you won't notice anything. But you actually have three more flyers over in that direction. And they're going to start flowing towards you, so just be patient. Don't pe peek your head out, because they can easily shoot you. I know people have made that mistake. Easy. Well, maybe not, but... <laughs> 
this next level. Oh, I hate it so much. It's harder than the boss. I'd rather solo the boss than level Act 6. <laughs> Coming up into it. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is try and break that pot without aggravating those two. Next thing you're going to want to do, try to jump up on this bookshelf. If you can't, no problem. These guys won't mind it. Just as long as you don't shoot in their general direction. Um, just kind of make the jump until you can. Teleporters might not be able to get up here, but you can always go over there if you need to. It's a lot less safe than this, but it works. So, once you have these two guys, try and knock them down before they can shoot. And just take them. And you're gonna have four of these red runners that cannot get you up here. That's why I said to come up here. Then you have a few runners over here and these two flyers, which are your main priority. Okay, yeah, and then after you take out the, those two, these guys are gonna be like, hey, what's up, bro? And we're just gonna have to take them out. Go oh, away. Then you have a barrel over here. Oh, wait, no, that's a. <laughs> That's on the next wave. Okay, yeah. Just four runner got red runners here. Nothing too much. And once you take out the last guy, you have a barrel in that cove and a barrel over there. So just kind of take them out. What I, what I like to do for the barrels is just kind of slide past this guy, let him do his little thing, shoot him, run past him again, shoot him before this guy can get to you, Try to keep an eye on where these guys are at all times, because they if you have both of them alive, they can very easily corner you. Okay, perfect. Have both of them spinning. They can take one out. But once these guys are dead, it's where it gets really annoying. Here, run over into this cove, take out anything that spawns in here, and have everything flow to you, and try to shoot it before it can get to you. Like, these red guys right here are going to be very annoying when you're trying to hide over here. And you're also going to have red flyers, but once you take all them out, it's all downhill with just this guy. Whew, I'm very glad I didn't die there. Do not kill me now. That would be very bad. Let's kind of do some parkour. Jump around. Hit him. Oh my god, that's a relief. I really don't like that level. Act 7 is also not too fun of a level, but it's not as bad as level 6. Okay. So what you're going to want to start off by doing is jumping up onto this ledge. I have a few guys up here. Focus on the flyers. There's the one that can hurt you right now. I have two red guys down here. You can jump back here to lure them over. They're stupid. They won't take the ramp because they're just not smart. You can jump up here too. Jump back and forth if you need to. Also have these two green guys. I don't think there was any more flyers. I really hope I'm not mistaken. I don't think so. I'm gonna let them do the thing. You can run over here. Don't do what I did and fall. Please do not do that. Okay, so once you take all of them out, come in here, I like to jump up on this little stage. And just kinda go for these little flyers. Goblins, the runners, once again, cannot hurt you. Cause they're up here, they're down there. They're short, and can't jump. Okay, yep. Gonna have more flyers, which are not fun. But take them out, easy. And it's just these little green guys. Whoa, okay, I'm lagging. I could be getting the ceiling, I think. Make sure it's just the green guys, because if there is a flyer and you're looking down like this, you can't see their fireball coming, boom, you're dead. <laughs> really gotta be careful. So once you're coming up here, you will have, I believe it's a red flyer or 
two normal flyers right here. Yeah, it's red one. And then two normal flyers. And then after these two, you have three goblins behind you. Take them out, yeah. More right here. They can spawn randomly. One of the one of them spawned over here. Okay. And as you're coming down here, about like nine times out of ten, you'll have a red goblin spawn right there. Let's see if we get him. No, we didn't get him. Lucky. So this barrel right here is a lot easier than he looks. Um, what you're gonna want to do? Come in, and as soon as you come in, duck down in the hallway. Run behind him. He's gonna go forward. Take him out. Very easy. Now. What I really don't like is this part here. If you have a red goblin spawn right in front of your face right there, be prepared to spam fire. And once you take him out, you're gonna wanna run into this little corner over here and have everything flow towards you. Yep, we got him. Okay. So once you take him out, kinda come into this corner. These guys are blind. Wait for everything to come to you. Cause once you take out one of these green guys, you're gonna have another red guy. Okay, and this place right here is just kind of a little chill place that I you can just kinda take out your camera take some cool photos with these guys if I can wouldn't it be funny if they all just started charging right now eh. video recording keeps stopping stopping okay Okay, so once you get here, shoot these guys. Just spam. Duck in the hallway if you need to. You're gonna have these guys, these red flyers, which are a pain to deal with. Shoot them before they can get to you. You will have another one after you take out these guys. So just sit here and wait for them all to flow towards you. And then boom, you're done with Act 7. Moving on to Act 8 now. Oh, it's going a long time. <laughs> okay, so what you're going to want to do here is start off, kick off some of these goblins, leave one behind, but just don't make it the red one. So leave like one of these little green guys behind, and once he starts coming up that ramp, you're gonna want to jump down. Try not to fall in the lava. What you're gonna want to do is just come up here. It's a really safe spot. The only thing you have to deal with is flyers and the flyers that spawn right there. No runners can get you up here really. And then you have a wave of just runners. Oh my god! I jump. I hate seeing those guys' face. They scare me so much. Even when I'm safe, they just creep up on me. I really thought he was about to get me. <laughs> See, it's even more nerve-wracking when you're recording, and then you're gonna have flyers. <laughs> Take them out as fast as possible. Spam fire. You have two down here. They can they spawn randomized. Sometimes they'll all spawn down there, and then you have to deal with a wave of fireballs just hurling towards you. Then you're gonna have a bunch of red guys. They can all spawn in that cove, or they can all spawn over there. Like, two at a time. It's randomized. Okay, um, so after this wave, trying to remember what happens. Um, <laughs> I think it's barrels after this. Yeah, you get a barrel over there and a barrel up there. The barrels can't even hit you up here. That's how sp that's how safe you are. Just not from flyers. Flyers are annoying. Shoot them on the top of the head. You can get them like this. Try not to let them get up to you because sometimes their axe can extend over. Actually, so you're not 100% safe, but you're pretty safe. Get him into the lava. Get him down here. Flyers, once again, main priority. Take them out as soon as possible. Barrel, I'm not too worried about. Try not to get shot by him. Jeez, he scares me. 
I don't know if his fireballs can reach from all the way over there. Can they? Oh, I think they can. Okay, we got him. <sighs> he is a scary man. Where is this guy? I hear him. Oh no, he's down here. I'm scared. Okay, so after this barrel, you're gonna want to scope the room for flyers. I think there's like two of them. You're just gonna want to scope the room for flyers like that. <laughs> Try and knock them down before they ever get their chance to shoot. Like that. And your next concern is barrels and runners. Sometimes they get a little bit much and start pushing each other over. And he starts to act like that. Sometimes you can flick them into the lava and just bully them. But I'm scared now. He's like right there. And that's Act 8. Oh my god. We're on to the boss. If I fail on the boss, that would be very sad. I really hope I don't. <laughs> so since you're soloing, you cannot do this little double shielding technique. Because you need two people for that. And if you invite a friend to help you out with a solo, it's no longer a solo. So no, you cannot do that. Deep breaths. Don't want to fail. Okay, so once you get here, you're going to want to run straight for this ladder. He's going to start, start firing at you. This wall is a very nice place to be. So once you hit him about twice in the back, you will have enemy spawn. Just kind of hide over here. Jeez, he's angry. Stop! Please, mister. You're scaring me. And then... Now you're gonna take out everything over here. Take out everything as it comes to you. Watch out for the flyers. I don't think we're done yet. If you do have a barrel up here by chance, like this guy, it is a very nice place because you have plenty of room to dodge. Take him out. So that's all the enemies. Now, this is going to be your nice little safe place. Just going to want to... Take out the barrel as soon as he spawns. Try and take him out as soon as possible. Wait for everything to come to you. You really don't want these red guys getting up here like him. Unless you're really fast at taking him out like me. Just kind of keep shooting over here. Make sure those flyers don't hit you. I think that's all of them? Nope! Oh, that's a really good thing I spotted him. Forgot this guy spawns over here. I cannot hit him. I don't think he can reach me. Oftentimes he can't reach you, but I would still stay aware in case he does. Decides to be mean. There we go. Let's make it rain arrows on him. So, next wave here. I believe it's the final wave, hardest. So once you spawn it, I believe you can just keep spamming him. If you can. Oh, do not get shot by him. Trying to let these guys hit you. Got him. Just keep that is the solo tutorial for Golden Trophy. S rank, easy. Whew. Take your picture when you want to. Oh, that was nerve wracking. But yeah, there is the solo tutorial. Oh, that's a picture. Uh oh. Take the picture anyway. Ready to start. I am ready to end. <laughs> so yeah. That is the soul tutorial for Golden Trophy. I also, once again, want to say I'm very sorry for not uploading for the past five months. I'm sure y'all have probably been wanting some content. And now I will try to start uploading more. Because we are almost on a thousand subscribers. That is seriously incredible. I want to thank all of you for that. Like, I never thought I would get here in just like a few months. <laughs> but, yeah, I just want to say thank you all for watching. I hope this helped. And maybe now you'll be able to solo Golden Trophy. So yeah, um, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below. And I will see you guys next time.